Hi, Leader Leopard families. This is your second through fifth grade math specialist, Jesus Esparza, and I have some exciting news. At Leader, we know how important it is for students to know their math facts in order to be successful in math. So what we're doing is sending home addition and subtraction flashcards to every first and second grader and addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division flashcards to every third, fourth, and fifth grader so that they have some extra time to practice those facts at home. Um, we want this to be a fun and engaging experience for them. And that's why we're also sending home a long list of flashcard games for them to try out with you and anyone else at home. And I'll be going over some of my favorite games, but first let's take a look at what these cards actually look like. So I opened up the edition flashcard stack and these cards look like this. They'll have number sentences on both the front and the back. And in the corner, you will see the number sentence for, the, for what's on the other side of the card and the answer to that number sentence. At the bottom of the stack, you'll find this note to parents from the card maker and also some fun games that are suggestions from the card maker themselves. So now I'll show you my favorite flashcard games to play. Climb the stairs. Each player is going to need a sheet of paper and something to write with, and they're going to draw a set of stairs on their sheet of paper. They'll also need some game tokens from a game board that you may have at home, or maybe just any random object like a button or a coin for them to put at the bottom of the step. How the game works is each player will take turns flipping a card over, answering the equation. And if they get it correct, they get to move up a step. The first player to get to the top of the stairs first wins the game. This game is called Around We Go, and you'll need to spread out your cards in a large circle. You'll need a die, and each player will need their own token. So it could be a game piece from a game board, it can be a button, it can be a coin. Players will each pick a random place to start around the circle and then they'll take turns rolling the die and move however many spaces show up on the die so i roll two so i get to move my game piece two spaces and i have to answer whatever card i land on if i answer it correctly i get to keep the card if i don't answer it correctly i get to skip my turn and then the next person goes Whenever all the cards get picked up around the circle, then uh, whoever has the most cards at the end of the game wins. This game is called Max Tic-Tac-Toe. So someone is gonna need to draw a tic-tac-toe grid on a sheet of paper. One player's X's, one player's O's, and each of the players take turns picking a card from the stack. They answer it correctly, they get to make a move on the tic-tac-toe grid. So this is four, I get to make my move. The next person goes, they say the answer to this is 10. So they make their move. The next person makes their move. And it's just like regular tic-tac-toe. Whenever a player gets three of their symbol in a line, then that means they win that round and the players can keep playing rounds until they have no more cards left and whoever has won the most rounds has won the whole game all 13 in a row for this game you'll need to have a stack of cards and each player will need to sit on one side of the stack so i'm sitting here my partner could be sitting on the other side right here and we'll be taking turns, taking a card from the top, flipping it over, and answering the question. So this is 19. We're going to put it in a row in front of us. My next one is 8. And the goal, as you're laying them out in a row in front of you, is to lay them out in order from smallest to largest. So since this answer was 8, it's going to go first. This one's going to go next because 8 is smaller than 19. So for my next turn, 
my answer is nine. So this card would go in the middle in between those cards. So you keep putting them in order as you get the answers. And the first player to get 15 cards in a row um, in order from smallest to greatest correctly wins the game. War. For this game, you will divide a deck of cards between two players, and each player will grab the card at the top at the same time and answer the question. So 7 plus 2 is 9, 4 plus 1 is 5. The player with the largest answer, that would be this card, gets to keep both of the cards in their own stack. The game is over when there are no cards left in the middle, and the player with the largest stack at the end of the game wins the game.